Welcome back. In this session, we're going to continue on animations and specifically how to animate objects in and how to make kind of like a card effect and how to make the things flip right. And as you can see, we already animated the head hero banner, so it loops in infinitely. And every few seconds, we have that fade in, fade out effect. But we also have, just to reload, an animation for the text. So if you want to find out how to do that, refer to the previous session in the playlist for Axure Noob to Master series. What I want to do today is to animate these three bad boys. And as you can see, we have a lot of different effects already on scroll down. So I'm going to try to attach another behavior to that, another action, and kind of slide these boxes in, as well as make some sort of effect, let's say, when the user mouse overs it. And what I have in mind specifically is, let's say, if I mouse over, over safety first card, I want it to flip or fade in or open up somehow, and I want to show more information exactly what safety first means in this specific context. So let's dive right into it and see how we can do it. If I open my Axure, as you can see, I have those three boxes. Now, the first one I kind of overreached and converted already in dynamic panel. But if you haven't, let's say, what you would do, I would just select all those objects, whatever is displayed on the canvas, just right click and create a dynamic panel. So that's the basics. Now, once that's done, I would go in and I would edit the thing. So as you can see, I have a couple of states already pre made. One is a default state, and another one is info state. Just to show you how it's done, um, there is a flip between the two, like so. This is what I want to show when the user mouse over. Let's say this is what I want to show by default. Now, let me show you exactly how it works. So, to make it animated right off the bat, I would just probably add an interaction to the dynamic panel itself. And to do so, I would click on new interaction, let's say, and on mouse enter, do something. In this specific case, what I want to do is set panel state. Now, set panel state, we have this three boxes one, which I gave a name already, as you can see up above. I'm going to say state probably next, uh, so that it flips back and forth. And I can choose the animation type. It's up to you really what you want to do. Maybe you want to slide in from nothing, uh, maybe you want to fade in, fade out. but. For this specific scenario, what I like to do is just use flip. I'm going to choose flip left just for this sake. And as you can see, it pre-filled the animate out option already at 5 ms by default. Let's just keep half a second for now. It doesn't really matter. Um, we can also do other options, but they are not really applying for our case right now. Let's say we don't need to show it because it's not hidden. Uh, we don't need to push pull widgets because it's just going to remain in the same place and we don't need to repeat or loop it if you remember from our header section just imagine if this condition is going to flip once and then it's going to remain in info state so what i want to do as well is let's say if I, my mouse moves away we need to flip it back right so i would add another interaction and i would say on mouse out and probably just set the same panel state to default as pre-filled and probably flip either left again or right. I would go right so that it flips. Let me just select flip right and then it flips back. So there's opening, closing, opening, closing. So it's a bit more consistent and expecting of the user. We are not going to be too shocked. And here we go. Now we can just go ahead and test it out. And as you can see, our card works. So it flips in, flips out if needed, like so. So anytime we want to, let's say, surprise the user or show some more information, we can use this effect. It's quite easy. It's all good, but what we really want to do in this case is to also animate these boxes in once we, let's say, scroll down. Um, at the moment, we are static. So what I'm going to do next is do exactly the same what they did for the first box. I'm just gonna go ahead and select each box content and just make dynamic panels. Once they've done that, what I would want to do, because imagine that the default state that those boxes are invisible, I would just want to select all of them and just make them invisible, like so. 
the fat icon hidden. You can do it one by one or select it as a bunch, it doesn't really matter. It, as you can see, the flip effect is only visible for one. I'm not gonna go ahead and recreate forever, so it doesn't really matter again. Explore it, experiment it, and see if you can do it better. What I actually want to do is I can either just fade in the boxes one by one, I can move them in one by one, I can move and show it one by one. So at the basic level, what I would want to do is on scroll effect, let's say, if you unselect the canvas, and you have that show sticky header option, you know, something from other lessons, if you follow through, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna add a new action on that specific interaction. If you at your prototype don't have any interactions yet, uh, just scroll down, let's say, and add new interaction button, just use that button. And you're gonna add something called on Windows scroll down, so meaning once the user scrolls down, we're going to animate those options in. So I'm just going to add another action in the list and say, just show hide. So let's say three box and we can animate one by one. So I'm going to go three boxes, third one. So I'm going to start from the right to left. So it's third, second, first. Um, it's going to look pretty good. And I'm going to just fade it five milliseconds. And I'm gonna probably add some more waiting time in between another animation like so. And I'm gonna wait maybe for maybe one third of a second and then add another show hide. So show second box in the same exact fashion. Again, fade, okay. And wait another, let's say 300 milliseconds. Again, we need to try, we need to see if it actually makes sense. And if it looks good once it's rendered, and I'm gonna do that for the last first box, exactly the same, fade 500. Show, wait, show, wait, show for free all the items. Let's preview it. If we scroll down, boom, they appear one by one. Now it maybe was a bit too sudden. What we can do is just increase the waiting time, and I'm gonna say maybe like 600. Don't be too specific with this because it's milliseconds. Um, so you don't want to be, let's say, 250 or 230. It doesn't freaking matter. Let's just do as is. And let me preview that again. I scroll down and boom, one by one we animate them. Could potentially just uh, add a different effect. So let me really quickly show exactly how. I would probably displace the objects a little bit. Now, what I mean by that. Uh, you would want to first and foremost to check exactly where the objects lay. So I'm gonna go down and and copy each of the boxes location, so X and Y axis like so, and just write it on my notebook right here. And so notebook is really good friend of yours, especially if you're advanced in action, because a lot of dimension kind of stuff and metrics for let's say the coordinates are really important to know down, especially in animating. So get a notebook, that's a pro tip which you have to do basically. I noted down all the coordinates for each of the boxes. What I could do next is just either misplace it. So let's say I could just move it by like that much because they know exactly where the boxes need to end up, you know, in the end. And I can just do something along the lines, let's say, after I show the third box, I could potentially just add an action in between the show and wait and just say move. Now again, you would want to play it a little bit around because there is a lot of nuances here and there, but I would move the block to our coordinates, which I noted down, and that is 964 by 704. And you can also animate, so it really, you know, maybe it's a bounce. Let's try a bounce, 400, a bit less than half a second. And let's animate it in. Let's see just for that blog how it would look like. Scroll down. As you can see, that was very sudden. It just appeared out of nowhere, right? Uh, ignore the, the, the other two. What we care about is this, really, the third one. So what I'm gonna do really quick is just select that outside the canvas and find where I moved it. I'm gonna say maybe 800 or so. 
and also it's gonna work with combination of show and hide so maybe even want to do like eight hundreds of fading let's try that you never know how it's gonna look like it's good to try out and experiment as you can see it bounced in it was a bit sudden but again need to play with the timings a little bit and now what I'm gonna do just to show you exactly how it's working I'm just gonna go ahead and do that for all other boxes within our interaction merit so as you can see I have move wait 600 seconds and then add other things boom so I added all those conditions and all those actions to be done for all of these blocks let's preview it let's see if that actually works that animates in I'm scrolling down boom 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 it bounces in looks pretty good we have a flip now for a card we also bounce in the boxes so users can you know scroll down and see more information about it not too bad what I would recommend you to do going forward is just to explore exactly what you can do with the boxes as you can see in this case I combined two different things I combined the fading in of a box as well as moving in of a box by misplacing it first so you can do that you can just do fade in one by one for waiting times as you can see you kind of like build a recipe so I hope this was useful uh, stay tuned for a next bit where we are gonna animate this block and what I'm thinking to do here is let's say when the user scrolls down and does something because you need the trigger we're gonna animate that bar so stay tuned for that as usual subscribe to his channel I really appreciate your comments and likes and you know reception was really positive so keep on doing that uh, share with your friends who are into interaction UX design and as usual stay tuned for more material and see you next time